In today's video, I'm going to talk about 18 best places to visit in Canada. If you've ever been to Canada, make sure you comment down below and let me know your favorite place. Also, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe down below and click the notification bell so you get notified each time we post a new video. We'll try to make it every other day, so make sure you stick around. At number 18, we have Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, home to the Horseshoe Falls, the most powerful waterfall in North America and possibly the best known in the world. It is on the western bank of the Niagara River in the Golden Horseshoe region of southern Ontario, with a population of around 88,000. The tourist area, which stretches along the Niagara Parkway and promenade, is particularly concentrated at the brink of the falls. Apart from the river's natural attractions, it includes observation towers, high-rise hotels, souvenir shops, museums, indoor water parks, casino and theaters, mostly with colorful neon billboards and advertisements. At number 17 we have Montreal. It's the most populous municipality in the Canadian province of Quebec and the second most populous in Canada. Originally founded in 1642, it is named after Montreal, the triple peaked hill in the heart of the city. The city is centered on the island of Montreal. It has a distinct four season continental climate with warm, too hot summers and cold, snowy winters. At number 16 we have Ottawa, the capital city of Canada. It stands on the south bank of the Ottawa River in the eastern portion of southern Ontario. Ottawa has the most educated population among Canadian cities, located closely to Montreal and the US border. It has at its center Parliament Hill with grand Victorian architecture and museums such as the National Gallery of Canada with noted collections of indigenous and other Canadian art. The park like Rideau Canal is filled with boats in the summer and ice skaters in winter. At number 15 we have Kelovna. Kelovna is a city in the south of Canada's British Columbia province. It is in the Okananga Valley on the eastern shore of Okananga Lake, surrounded by provincial parks, pine forests, vineyards, orchards and mountains. Its downtown area incorporates waterfront city park and the Lake South Culture District. More than 20 local vineyards offer wine tours and tastings. It is a very popular area for swimming. Number 14 we have Nelson. Nelson has a diverse population on close to 10,000 people, a hidden gem in the Kulanese, nestled in the Silker Mountains along the west arm of Kulani Lake. It has a vibrant and carefully restored downtown shopping area and a busy social scene with live performances, art and music nearly every night of the week. The legacy of the past, evident in the more than 350 preserved heritage buildings, mixes with a dynamic arts and culture scene. The variety attracts outdoor enthusiastic creatives, entrepreneurs and urban refugees year-round. Known as a Queen City for over 100 years. Winter brings impressive snowfall earning Nelson the crown as the best ski town in North America. And whether you're kayaking on the lake, cycling a pine top bridge or hiking lush forest, Nelson is an open gateway to the backcountry. At number 13 we have Cape Breton. Cape Breton Island's story is told in many ways. It's etched in her craggy cliffs, written in the trails that mark her face, spoken in three languages and celebrated in her music and dance. Alive in the millennia's old history of Unamaki, Cape Breton Island's true name. The ancestral and unceded territory of the Mikalagi people. To know our island is to know she's an underlying beauty, one which breeds a free spirit, resolent pride, and resilient communities knit together by tradition. Chilasi, Kladme, Fule, Bienvenue, 
Welcome to a place loved by many and home to a lucky few. At number 12, we have Montmorency Falls. Open year round, beautiful Montmorency Falls Park is just a few minutes from downtown Quebec City. The waterfalls are 83 meter tall, a full 30 meter higher than Niagara Falls. Take the cable car up the cliff to start a panoramic walking tour at the manor, where our house, an interpretation center, gift shop, and restaurant. Follow the footpath along the top of the cliff to the suspended bridge, which affords a splendid view of the area. Keep walking along the path until you get to the 487 step staircase down the side of the cliff that will bring you to the foot of the falls. At number 11, we have Quebec City. Quebec City sits on the St. Lawrence River in Canada's mostly French-speaking Quebec province. Dating back to 1608, it has a 45 colonial core, view Quebec and place rail, with stone buildings and narrow streets. This area is the site of the towering Chote Frontenac Hotel, an imposing citadel of Quebec. The Petit Chemin district cobblestone streets are lined with bistros and boutiques. At number 10, we have Lake Louis. You have seen photos of the lake, but they haven't prepared you for how it feels to experience it yourself. Rounding the corner, the sight of the emerald green water and rugged peaks and glaciers hits you visibly. You've never seen anything so dramatically beautiful. Late in the day, with the glowing sun dropping behind Mount Victoria, it is quiet and still. As you wander around the lakeside park, it seems like the whole scene is for just you to enjoy. It is a feeling you will remember forever. Lake Louis has long been a mecca for adventures, from sleigh rides to dog sledding, paddling, hiking and more. There is something here for every level of adventure. At number 9 we have Moraine Lake. Its waters are the most amazing color, a vivid shade of turquoise that changes in intensity through the summer as the glaciers melt. Set in the rugged valley of the Ten Peaks, Moraine Lake is surrounded by mountains, waterfalls and rock piles, creating a scene so stunning it almost seems unreal. Sit lakeside and absorb the sights and pure mountain air, or explore further by canoeing and hiking. Is an iconically jaw-dropping place that is sure to leave a lasting impression. At number 8 we have Whistler. Whistler is a town north of Vancouver that's home to Whistler Blackcomb, one of the largest ski resorts in North America. Besides skiing and snowboarding, the area offers snowshoeing, tobogganing, and ski jumping at the Olympic Park, a venue for the 2010 Vancouver Winter Olympics. The hub of Whistler is a compact, chalet-style pedestrian village at the base of Whistler and Blackcomb Mountains. At number 7 we have Jasper. An alpine town in Canada's Alberta province is the commercial center of Jasper National Park. Amid the snow-capped Canadian Rockies, the park has glacier-fed lakes, forests and rivers. The Jasper Sky Tram climbs to the summit of Whistler's Mountain with views of downtown. The Jasper Yellowhead Museum and Archives presents exhibits on the fur trade, railway and early exploration of the park. At number 6 we have Vancouver. The coastal seaport city in Western Canada, located in the region of British Columbia, is the most populous in the province with over 600,000 people living in the city. Vancouver has the highest population density in Canada. More than 52% of its residents are not native speakers. Vancouver is consistently named as one of the top 5 worldwide cities for livability and quality of life. At number 5, we have Wells Gray National Park. Wells Gray has something to offer for every outdoor interest. Lush alpine meadows, excellent birding and wildlife viewing opportunities, 
hiking for every ability, ranging from a few minutes on a level trail to many days with a map and compass, boating, canoeing and kayaking. Guiding businesses offer horseback riding, canoeing, river rafting, fishing and hiking. And the history enthusiasts can learn about the early homesteaders, trappers and prospectors. Or about the nature forces that produce was grazed, many volcanoes, waterfalls, mineral springs and glaciers. At number 4 we have Jorgbaldi Provincial Park. Jorgbaldi Provincial Park, named after its towering 2678 meter peak, Mount Jorgbaldi, was established March 7, 1927, in honor of the 19th century Italian patriot Giuseppe Jorgbaldi. The park is known for its natural beauty and its endless hiking opportunities. Jory Bali Provincial Park's rich geological history, diverse vegetation, snow capped mountain, iridescent water, abundant wildlife, and scenic vistas all contribute to the immense beauty. The park is located in the heart of the coast mountains, just 70 km north of Vancouver. Offering over 90 km of established hiking trails, Jory Bali Provincial Park is a favorite year round destination for outdoor enthusiasts. At number 3 we have Vancouver Island. Discover an ocean carved land of extremes ranging from wild to wild. Backpacking in majestic wilderness parks, marvel at orcas, blackbirds and the sheer abundance of fur, feather and fin wildlife. Gaze at distant snow capped mountains while splashing barefoot along softly curving beaches. Relax, restore and recharge yourself in the region's cosmopolitan center, small towns and snug harbors. That's Vancouver Island. At number 2 we have Bend National Park. Rocky mountain peaks, true as glacial lakes, a picture-perfect mountain town and village, abundant wildlife and scenic drives come together in Banff National Park, Canada's first national park and the flagship of the nation's park system. Over 3 million visitors a year make the pilgrimage to the park for a variety of activities including hiking, biking, skiing and camping in some of the most breathtaking mountain scenery. Banff is part of the Canadian Rocky Mountain Park's UNESCO World Heritage Site. At number 1 we have Toronto. The most popular city in Canada with almost 3 million people living there. Toronto is the provincial capital of Ontario in an international center of business, finance, arts and culture. Toronto is recognized as one of the most multicultural and cosmopolitan cities in the world. The diverse population of Toronto reflects its current and historical role as an important destination for immigrants to Canada. More than 50% of residents belong to a visible minority population group. Toronto is a prominent center for music, theater and television production. It is home to Canada's major natural broadcast network and media outlets. Toronto attracts more than 43 million tourists each year and is well known for its many skyscrapers and high-rise buildings.